What's up guys, just do as I do here and I'm going to show you how to set up MCP31. So first of all you're going to want to download MC, the latest MCP, if you want the latest. There is a, you can use the other one which uses the old method. This is the new, this is the new method. Now what you're going to want to do is just create a new folder in any, any way you want on your computer. I normally do it in the C drive, in the C, directly in the C drive, but this time I'm going to do it in documents for demonstration purposes. So once you've made that folder for MCP, just drag all the contents from the WinRAR download into that folder. Now you can close MCP, you won't be using that download anymore. Now what you want to get is you're going to want to open up jars. Now, if you haven't already, go onto Minecraft.net, go to download, then you want to download Minecraft server dot jar. You could just open that. Open close downloads. Alright. Then you cl click on the two dots there and that will give you the Minecraft server jar. I'm just gonna want to place the Minecraft server jar straight into there. So that's the Minecraft server sorted out. Now what you want to gonna sorry, what you gonna now now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to go into run and do percent app data percent hit ok and then go into your .minecraft folder now this is where you can mod minecraft on if you haven't already if you didn't know how now because I've made tons of other bins from for different various mods many of them are mine and testing but uh, before I did this I completely I renamed the bin that I was using currently so that I can get a clean bin so you're going to want to um, delete the bin or rename the bin if you already have tons of mods on so that you can get a fresh bin it, it can't be modded if it does have mods then it will decompile the other mods which you don't really want unless you're using mod, mod loader which we're not going to get into so just drag the bin into the jars okay I'll just minimize that I don't know if we will need it later but next just go into decompile and for you to be able to use MCP you need to download JDK which uh, isn't really that hard to find I think you can find it on I can't remember what le uh, website but just type in uh, JDK download into Google you'll be able to find it if I can find a website link to it I'll just provide you with a link in the description but if not, then just type that into Google. I'll also put in some other links for the MCP and Eclipse. This tutorial will be using Eclipse, and you'll find out why later. And that's the bit one of my friends is stuck on. Because he keeps on getting 100 errors because he hasn't added the external jars. Okay, now that that's done, uh, just press any key to continue. Now you see that you've it's came up with all these other folders. Now you're going to want to go into your the conf, which stands for configuration, I guess. Now you're going to want to highlight start and hy, and just going to want to copy those. Go back to the MCP, and then go to source, Minecraft, and paste it in there. Next up, it's a good thing I kept this open because otherwise you have to create, open up another documents and go into all the stuff. Just go into um, one of the bins. Actually, I dragged it instead of. I'm a silly billy. Okay, I'm just gonna get my bin back because I dragged it instead of copying it. Uh, you're gonna want to copy it unless, yeah, stuff. So, <laughs> bin Minecraft jar. Close. Okay. Oops. MCP source Minecraft. Okay. Now that you're back at that screen where you just put the H and Y and start, you're going to want to highlight all the folders. Now hold down Control or Command if you're on Mac. It's not really a Mac tutorial, but. <laughs> Um, I think you do it differently on Mac, but it, when you're doing this, just hold down Command. Um, unselect net. And while you're still holding down 
control just scroll down until you find font highlight that scroll down some more and you'll find pack pack text and particles highlight those and then scroll down and find terrain and just drag all those into the source in Minecraft. Okay, you can now close that. And that's about it. You should be able to go into start client and it should start up Minecraft. And if it starts it up, it's all decompiled correctly and you can create well, you know, all that. There's even a quick game button. Okay. So now you're going to want to head over to folders, well that's where mine is anyway, and you're going to want to go into Eclipse, start up Eclipse. And then it should come up with that, which says workspace, uh, select, the one, select the workspace. So you're going to want to hit browse and go to wherever your MCP is. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to have to go into documents wherever that is I think it's in user actually hang on I'll just close that MCP because that's in my that's why I put it in a C drive so it's easier to get to um, where is it is it in program files and users or something no nope, hang on Ah, oh, there, sorry. Um, Alex, because that's my name. My name is Alex. Documents, MCP, and then click on source. So it should then be, this is for me, C, users, Alex, documents, MCP, source. So it ends on the source, okay? Hit OK. Now it should load up. There you go, there's the bar. It goes up. I use the older version though because the new reobfuscating, I don't get that. Reobfuscating. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Okay, now you're going to want to go to File, New, Java Project. And it should come up with this. Got in project name, type in mine. Minecraft? No, you don't type in Minecraft, you type in Minecraft and all those should look before it was using excuse execution environment and all that. Because it's uh, Minecraft, all those should go hide away because you know it's Minecraft, it's legendary. They all fade away. So that'll take a little while to set up the workspace. There's the folder. So you're you're very nearly there to modding Minecraft. You're nearly there. And look, it's already came up with an error. Now it should actually contain about 100 errors. But I'm going to show you how to fix those errors. There you go, it's on 69%, 72, 74, 77, 81, 82, 85, 88, done. Okay, errors 100 of 1,293 items. Now what you're going to want to do is highlight Minecraft, go into Project, properties then you're going to want to do it go to java build path libraries add external jars now you're going to want to highlight all of those actually wait sorry it probably won't come up with that yet because you'll probably have to go into hang on god damn it yeah computer vista c and then Oh my god, hang on. Okay, there you go, it's in my favourite links, documents. <laughs> uh, MCP, jars, this is what you're going to have to do by the way, you're going to have to go into MCP, jars, bin, and there you'll have the jars. Just highlight those and open. Now, extend the three top ones, don't extend Minecraft jar. Now what you're going to want to do is, on native library, location none, double click on that, I'll on location path, 
go into where you have MCP, so that would be my documents, and MCP, and then click on the jars folder, but don't click on bin or resources or anything, just click on jars, click OK, copy that, and then just paste it in the other ones, but not Minecraft. Then hit OK, and then as you'll see there, hang on, just refresh, Fresh waiting. I want to wait. All right, yeah, it's doing that. Okay, there you go. All the errors have gone, so you can now edit the Minecraft folders, the Minecraft Java files in Source, like Entity Sorter. Yeah. So that's how to set up MCP version 31, I think, or 3.1, or whatever is the newest one. And thanks for watching.